Here's the latest addition to the Thistle Hill Farmstead. It is a John Deere Z920 mower that I just purchased. It has an issue with the engine, so that will be the next series of videos. I'm going to go through the mower and uh, see if I can understand what's going on with the engine. It will click and try to spin, so I'm not sure it's not locked up because the, it will actually turn a little bit but it won't spin all the way over so I'm gonna get it off the trailer pressure wash it clean it up a bit and then start taking a look at the engine to see if I can determine what's wrong with it so follow along <music> Well, as I'm starting to take it off the trailer, I did notice that it is dripping some oil underneath. So that's not good news. That means we've probably got a hole in the block somewhere. And I do see there's oil there below the engine also. So we'll get into it and see what's going on. I'm going to pressure wash everything to clean it up so I can kind of see what's going on. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil out because it's got a leak somewhere. There's no need in pressure washing it and then having the oil that's in the block if there is a crack, which there does appear to be somewhere, to have it come back out onto the engine and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil before I pressure wash it so that I can get all that oil out from around the engine and hopefully see what's going on. Okay, it's the next day and uh, it cleaned up pretty good after the pressure washing of course it's always I'm always wary of a mower or anything that you buy when you go to look at it if it's been cleaned and washed up and is all pretty and clean then that's uh, that may be an indication that there's something wrong with it like an oil leak or something and the previous owner didn't want to disclose that so the fact that I bought this and it was filthy dirty <laughs> means that the guy was using it and uh, he wasn't that concerned about keeping it clean and I could see exactly any oil leaks or where the oil was coming from etc and the gentleman I bought it from was pretty forthcoming with everything that was wrong with the unit and everything he did to it uh, prior to deciding to sell it so now I'm gonna back the trailer up 
to the garage there, roll it off in and start working on it.